Tonight, confusion over the coronavirus in classrooms as health officials take a different approach to reopening our schools. Thank you for joining us at 6. I'm Kirsten Joyce. Good evening. I'm Brian Loftus. The Southern Nevada Health District saying they'll support in person instruction for CCSD students, uh, even as we are seeing a new surge in COVID cases. Orco Mana joining us live in the newsroom after asking the health district uh, directly why they are changing course. Orco. Well, Brian and Kirsten, this is a little bit of a surprise to school board members and CCSD parents. For months, the Southern Nevada Health District had been recommending schools start reopening only when certain COVID thresholds were met in Clark County. The health district telling me things have changed because the mental health of students is also at stake. If you make that decision, we will look for ways to support. Uh, the, schools. the Southern Nevada Health District changing course when it comes to reopening classrooms amid COVID-19. Acting Chief Health Officer Dr. Fermain Legain telling the CCSD Board of Trustees Thursday night he's okay with in-person instruction for students if that's what the school district decides. Are you saying it's up to us? This comes as Clark County is starting to see a spike in COVID-19 cases. The most updated test positivity rate is 9.6 percent. For months, the health district recommended a 5 percent positivity rate and a 14-day downward trend in COVID-19 cases before CCSD schools reopen. It's a balance. That but Dr. Legain tells me safety from the virus needs to be weighed with the mental and behavioral health impacts of distance learning. Some students are being hit hard. The concerns about uh, suicide among uh, the, the younger population because of this uh, isolation uh, and also uh, the issue of uh, uh, even increase in the, uh, the use of the uh, illegal drugs. But Dr. Legain is making it clear strict prevention measures will need to be implemented by CCSD, including social distancing and mask wearing. It's not just uh, opening the schools, but also making sure that, that there are mitigation uh, activities in place. Parents tell us they understand, but they just want more details from CCSD. What precautions and safety procedures will there be? How will those be communicated? How will they be clearly enforced? Important to note that two new international medical studies show no consistent relationship between in-person K-12 schooling and the spread of COVID-19. The CCSD Board of Trustees has only been discussing a potential return to the classroom via a hybrid model. They are expected to vote on a plan that includes some in-person instruction at their November 12th meeting, but right now there's still no official timeline for when that could happen. Kirk Gearson. Thank you so much, Orco. And the Washington Post reports that 99.5% of schools that opened in the fall remain open without issue.